YouTube family. This is your favorite high cheekbone sister, Zawadi Am, straight out of Liberia. Yeah, straight out of Liberia. Maryland County, Grand Coup County. For all the other counties out there, y'all still the best, okay? All Liberians were just the best. But let's let's continue. This is not about who's the best, who's not the best, okay? Thank you. Thank you, not this year for subscribing, for commenting, for sharing. And for some of you that have called me trying to speak crew and I try the t-shirt crew and some of you that really like my colloquia, thank you, thank you. You've taken the time to, to really show me love. I really appreciate it. But this video really is about how you can get your business off the ground in Liberia and how you can make it a success. So let's begin. Before we go on, I will remind you that I provided you with five business ideas. So let's say you don't want to do those business ideas that I provided you. There are a couple of things that you must do in order for you to have a successful business anywhere, wherever you are, but specifically in Liberia. If you don't want to take those ideas, like I said, there are a couple of things that you must do. One, you have to visit Liberia. I know a lot of people in the United States, I'm speaking from uh, from a United States perspective because I've heard this, this is personal experience. People say, oh, I can do business back home because my uncle, my auntie, whoever, somebody stole from me, wherever it is, is the conversation becomes a pattern. So this is the reason I'm making this video right now for all of you. The first thing that you must do, please go and visit. When you visit Liberia, do your needs assessment. If needs assessment is something that's too complicated for you in some sense, what that is is look around different communities and see what the need is within that community as far as business is concerned. And once you complete your needs assessment, then you can formulate a business idea that you might want to do. After you've done that, the next thing you would do, of course, is your business plan, but I don't want to go in the nitty gritty of, you know, putting your business plan together. It's just how you can establish your business in Liberia. So after you've done your needs assessment, you have identified your business, you want to go and register your business. My people, I will not say this more than once. When you go register business, please make sure you get the recital. It is it's very simple thing that you must do. You must obtain your receipt. That's how you show that you pay for it. There are scammers there that would tell you, say, oh, you know, you go to LRA, oh, you register your business. If you don't have a business receipt, you are out of luck. You are really out of luck. So the best thing that you must do, like I said, is to make sure you get your receipt. Now, getting that receipt. It can take hours and hours, and by the time those hours passes by, your heel is probably very sore, and your heel probably not crack. So then you're like, oh, you know what? I have lost patience. So no receipt. I'm just gonna go. Please make sure when you go to the business registration office, you stand at the window, you see somebody there because there can be scamming. Wait, wait. Even if your heel will get off, you need to still wait. Even if you're hungry, let your stomach ground. Anything you want to do, just let that happen. But make sure you don't gather there without your receipt. So after you get that now, then your business is fully registered. You get your receipt, now you're ready to go. You're ready to uh, operate. I can barely say you're ready to operate because you don't know, I don't know if you purchased the, the shop or whatever the location may be. I, I'm not really sure what you do, but after you, you get your receipt, then you can start operating your business. But some of you who have partnership, you have to make sure you have an article of incorporation. If you have that, then it does solidify your business in that sense that it is not just for you, which is a sole proprietorship, is only a partnership, so you need to get that article of incorporation. And so you do that, and then you register your business, you notarize it as, again, this is for a partnership, article of incorporation. You do that, you register uh, as partners, and then you start to, to operate a business. Okay, so now that I have given you all these tips on how you can get your business set up, you may have other questions, so that's why I'm encouraging you to leave me a comment. I will respond to you at my earliest convenience. If it's partnership, I will 
talk to you the best of my my ability because again like i said i'm only basing all of these things on my experience i want you all to prosper i want you all to do well this is why i'm uh, developing these tips coming up next my next video will pretty much be about where in Liberia you can have different businesses. So for example, if somebody says, oh, I want to do a business in red light. What kind of business do you think is great in red light? I will state that to you. What kind of business will do well in Broadville? What kind of business will do well in Bond County, Bond Mine? You got the point, okay? So I will do all of, I will do that video so you can have a general idea of things that will work there. Again, uh, any questions that you may have, please leave me a comment. Anything that else that you want me to talk about, I will definitely do my best to do so. Subscribe to this channel, share, I appreciate a comment, and um, you all have a good day. Be blessed. Again, we're all trying to be successful in addition to helping Mama Library succeed. That's the goal. Make, uh, make sure that we are all doing our part. Okay, have a good day. Be blessed.